Hi, good morning. I'm good. How are you? Yes, I have an appointment at 11. Tristan, T R I S T O N. Oh, hey, what's up? You're Lana. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. What color are we doing? You know? Whatever you like. I don't know. Where's the wall? Oh, it's the wall. Okay, cool. I don't know, I'm thinking of green. I want something with spark a little sparkle. Uh, feeling festive. I do red during the season, so this dark green right here. This one. Alright. Got it. This one. Yeah, I've never done a green before. Yeah, actually, Especially. yeah, we can do it. Especially. We can do one finger red and rest green on, no? I'm just gonna go with one solid one. <laughs> yeah, no pinkies today. No pinkies. No. I have a lot of, uh, you know, love for, for everybody in the city of Boston and everybody around. And I feel like there's some way that I can tie the nail polish into something positive if I want to. Because. Um, not that everybody sees it as negative, but I, I get certain looks about it and people say certain things about it and, you know, there's a stereotype about it and people saw, call me this and that and say I'm this and that, but um, it's so superficial and it doesn't change anything about me. Um, it doesn't change anything about the person that I am or what I bring to the table, the examples I set, um, the accountability I hold for myself. At the end of the day, this is just my video game character. Uh, whatever I want to, however I want to use it, or whatever I want to wear, whatever style. I got the facial hair on me right now. I can cut it off in one hour and I'm back to my normal self. I can take this off and then I'm back in character. So mm. it's just whatever character I want to be for that day. And I can do it on the field too. That's cool too, you know? Uh, everybody wants to have a little personality, especially out on the field. And... Yes, it's gone! <laughs> He's done it again! We're just in the, in the entertainment business at the end of the day. I, I think that's what the game needs, some individuality. I think it needs some players to be able to market and say, look, this is the future. So there's there's bad flips, there's yelling, there's fights. And not to say people, we need more bad guys, but that's what made those early 2000s teams and, and those late uh, those late 2000s teams so, so entertaining to watch. Everybody expressing themselves in their own way in a respectful way. And you do things with the right intention. Um, I think you, you can go about things however you want and you can wear whatever you want. I mean, you gotta watch what you say, but in terms of wearing and going out there with your own style, colors, um, I think I'm all for it. I just use it as an opportunity to spend time with my mom. Um, a two, three hour window of a every two or three weeks and uh, we get to bond, talk about whatever, and put our phones down for a little bit and catch up about, uh, you know, whatever's been going on in life. Whatever I want to share with her, whatever I feel like she got filled in on, I tell her and uh, we talk, catch up, and we use it as a little bit of um, bonding time. And then one day, the lady that was doing my nails asked me if I wanted a color. <laughs> And uh, and I told her, yeah, I got a brown on my color last, I want to say, November. And when I came home, my dad, uh, when he saw me walk in, he looked at my, my feet and was like, what is that? Why do you have that on your feet? And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? And he's like, oh, the, the nail polish, what is that? And I said, oh, I'm just, I just thought it was funny. I went with, uh, with mom and we went to go get it done. And he's like, no, 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 I'm not talking about the color or the polish. And he's like, why don't you have it on your hands too? And I was like, ah, I don't know, it's just the first time. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't know if I wanna continue doing it. And he's like, nah, you gotta do it. You gotta go back, go back tomorrow and do it and do your hands because you can't just have one and without the other. And uh, him, instilling that confidence into me made me feel good you know if i come home and my dad's like what are you doing like take that off your hands like you don't do that yeah he's very lighthearted himself and he, he told me he admitted that he used to do it himself too so that made me feel good when he didn't make a big deal about it and even in february before spring training i had no color on my hands 
Um, and he asked me, he's like, oh, what are you going to do for the season? Are you going to do red? Are you going to do blue? I was like, I was going to play with anything. I'm a baseball historian. I, I, I'm, I'm very big on respecting the game and, and the, the aesthetic that it's supposed to be played with. I think the uniform is supposed to have a certain, a certain uh, wear to it and the uh, nail polish isn't, in a, isn't a part of it. And he's like, no, nah, okay, the, the game's changed. The game's changed and, and people, they don't care about that kind of stuff anymore. And as, if you don't do it, somebody's gonna do it. And uh, why not have it be you? And I, he, he told me to go do it. And, and uh, it wasn't no looking back from there. Thanks to him, he made me feel good about it. So love him, love him to death. It just started as something, you know, natural. Just going, getting it done with my mom and talking, uh, talking with her, and and then uh, it turned into, you know, something pretty cool. And hopefully, it'll turn into more things as the future goes on. I got a couple ideas of stuff that I want to do with it, so I like it. To what age you start playing? Uh, as soon as I can stand up, maybe <gasps> two, three. Never played any other sport, only baseball. It's the only one that I liked. Yeah, my dad, he, he never played baseball. No? Nah, he works uh, in trucking and construction. He always <laughs> knew that um, if he had a son, that he'd want him to play baseball, Aww. so. Dream comes true. It's both of ours, so I have the talent and he, ha he has the sacrifice to, to be able to help me do it, so. Typically, I just do it in my room by myself. All right. I sit in the tub and I get the <laughs> I get the remover and I just do it <laughs> okay. with myself. Usually, I do it right before bed. Oh. I paint them right before bed, and then I I, I put the covers over me like this, and I lay <laughs> like this. I lay like that. And uh, I, no, it's I, not a good idea to do it no? before you go because you can smudge it. <laughs> I know, but I sleep like a I sleep like a vampire. <laughs> I see everything, honestly. I go on the, the posts and I look at the comments and I go on Twitter and I look myself up. I, I love seeing what people say about me, good, bad, like when I'm doing great, like it's cool, but when I'm doing bad, that's when I like to see what people say. Cause I'm like, you have no idea. Like, <laughs> you have no idea. So it's just funny to me. But yes, I see the memes and I see the ones like about me cooking. I see the ones, yeah, all those. So I think they're all hilarious. Um, yeah, we got a group chat going. Like, it was blowing up when Masa won the GQ Man of the Year. We got, we got everybody going. I think he even responded to so that was cool. But um, yeah, just the group chat. The group chat, we all stay active in it. What do you think? I think it's perfect. Yeah. I really like the color. The second, the second coat is yeah. really important. I can Absolutely. see, I can see yeah. why. What an unbelievable job you did, Lana. <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you.